Hello, YouTube, and welcome back to Brewing with Magic. Well, I recently saw someone tweet out that they took this deck into Mythic rank. They were doing it in best of three, but the deck looks so fun. I wanted to bring it to you, the Brew Crew, and see what we could do with it in best of one. But before we get into that, if you'll do me a really quick favor, it's completely free, super easy, and hit that subscribe button. It really means the world to us, really helps support the channel, support me, and gets us out to a much, much bigger audience. So, let's get into today's deck. We have Abzan Clerics for you. Let's start off with our removal package. We have two copies of Blood Chief Thirst and two copies of Vanishing Verst. Then let's go into our supporting cast, if you will, our cards that are not cleric cards. Well, not cleric creature cards, as I should say. We have one cleric class in the deck, two copies of Valentine, Dean of the Vein, and or the backside we can actually cast in the deck too, the Lisette, Dean of the Root. We have four copies of Prosperous Innkeeper, really helping with our game plan, gaining life, ramping us with treasures, and two copies of Redain, God of the Worthy. Everybody in the world is trying to run sweepers, so that really helps pre prevent that. A lot of people are running um, Snowlands. This really helps slow those down for a turn. I really, really like the addition of that into this deck. Now, let's go ahead and get into our clerics. At the one drop, we have four of the new Lunark Veteran, one white for a 1-1 human cleric. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you gain one life. And if it dies, you can pay one white and one colorless and disturb it back into play as a 1-1 flyer spirit cleric. Whenever another creature you control leaves the battlefield, you gain one life. If Luminous Phantom would be put into the graveyard from anywhere, exile it instead. And then we have our two drops. We have four copies of Luminarch Aspirant. We have two copies of Skyclave Cleric. I think we're only running like 21 land in the deck, so this makes it 23. And the fact that this can be a land early game and or come out and pretty much just give you tons of life, uh, it's really a hard hitter in the deck. Because if you have Righteous Valkyrie in play, when you cast the Skyclave Cleric, you get the two life from the Cleric plus the three life from the Righteous. And that is a five point swing, probably powering up your Righteous Valkyrie. Really neat addition to the deck. We have four copies of Cleric of Life's Bond, and then we have four copies of the Moon Dancer. And then we're going to go ahead and scoot right into our three, three drops. We have four copies of Righteous Valkyrie. It's really glues together a Cleric's deck. Two copies of Tobrax Hope's Demise. And then at the top end of the deck, we have two copies of Aura Skyclave Hierophant. For our land, we have one Plains, two Hive of the Eye Tyrants, one to help get rid of cards in graveyards that are, you know, opponents are trying to bring back into play, whether it's Blood on the Snow or anything else like that, but also just because we can avoid board sweeps and then finish off the game with that. We have two Swamps, four of the Pathways in each of our colors, and four of the new Overgrown Farmland comes into play tapped unless you control two or more other lands on green and white. So it's a pretty, pretty fun deck. If you played clerics, you understand exactly how it works. You play a bunch of clerics, they get much, much bigger, and you attack your opponent before they can kill you, and you just outpower their creatures in a lot of cases. A little bit of removal, just in case they have anything too problematic to uh, finish out the game. And once again, if they board wipe, you go in with the Hive of the Eye Tyrant. So it's a super fun deck. I really love clerics. I think you're going to enjoy it. So without further ado, let's go ahead now and get into the gameplay. Dub Lionheart. We go first with three lands. We have a Cleric, uh, Skyclave Cleric. So we have technically four lands, Righteous Valkyrie and Torbra uh, Tobarax. Let's go ahead and keep this. This will be our green. Uh, let's... We have three lands already, and that's pretty good for us. So let's go ahead and just put this out on white. This will be black, green. Save this as a creature. It's got a three defense. We gain two life plus the three if we have Righteous Valkyrie in play. So that's a five-point swing. Let's go ahead and put out the Cleric of Life's Bond. So they're playing some uh, Boros over here. So they could kill the Cleric right now, most likely. They do not. So let's get this out on green. Get all of our colors set up. Throw out the Righteous Valkyrie. Get the trigger on the Cleric. And swing in. Woo! Okay. Here we go. Here we go. What do you got? Redain. Ooh, I like that drop. So we put this out on white. Yeah, that's white. Let's put this out on white as well. We throw out the Moon Dancer. This is about to go off. Uh, I will definitely take another Moon Dancer. We're about to be huge right now. Go ahead and throw out the Skyclave Cleric. That should be just about game. We will see. I want to keep that for sure. There we go. We're all powered up. I still want to keep it. 
Yep, we're still doing this. We're still doing it. We're just going off. Let's go ahead and swing in for a casual 10. We got ourselves a 9-9 with summoning sickness that cost us two mana on turn four. Boom. We hit our opponent for four, down to 13. Let's see what they got. Let's see what they can do with four mana and this insanity coming at them. Luminarch Aspirant, okay. They're just playing it out. I mean, I feel bad. Let's. Oh, wait, it's legendary. So let's go ahead and. Just in case they wipe that one out, we got a backup. Yeah, we don't need no more land. Let's go ahead and just keep triggering. I'll take a Redain of my own. And let's go ahead and just swing in. Good game. Oof, what a. What a pop off. We just went off. Good game. Coming freak. Oh. You got me. I'm not saying that again. Opponent, we got three lands. Cleric Glass Bond, two Luminarch Aspirants, and a Trelasara Moondancer. Let's go ahead and keep that hand. It looks good to me. Okay, let's start with a good old natural swamp. We're going with Cleric of Life's Bond into the the Tari Let's go ahead and put this out on white. Throw out our cleric. Next turn, this on green. We'll go into uh, this. And I wish I had another one draw. Or uh, yeah, if we hit Valentine, we can actually throw this and Valentine next turn. That'll be nice. Well, Blood Chief Surce is kind of good. Let's put this out on green, like I said. This is probably Doomscar. So, let's under... See, I can do two things in one turn. No, I can't. White, green, I would need another white. So, we can just throw this now. We, we Even though we can throw something else, because I think that's Doomscar, just to power that up. And then just beat them lightly until they Doomscar. And then we'll refill the board. They're gonna they're gonna snap dooms. I mean, I'll take a doom scar for two. It's three mana worth of a spell for three mana. Let's go ahead and get this out on. I don't really need another green. Per se, the deck's not super green heavy. Let's put it out on black. That way we can use the blood chief thirst kicker if we need. Um, they're gonna doom scar us, but now we can go this into the luminarch aspirant all in one turn. Nah, I think we just force it. I think we just force it. If they don't Doomscar us this next turn, then we'll do it. Okay, there we go. Reduce to memory. Exile target permanent, and we get a 3-2. I mean, I'll take that if that's all they want to spend their turn. Let's go ahead and do that, just in case this is Doomscar. It could be Alan's Epiphany. It could be Behold the Multiverse. But if we overextend and lose our whole board, that's bad. So... We'll know if this is Doomscar or not, because they might use it now. Otherwise, they're going to reduce the memory. I'm fine with that. Okay, let's throw another Clerics of Life's Bond. Is that the play? No, let's throw one of our Luminarch Aspirants. Power up the 1-1. The one, one. Cause it'll, and then swing in with everything for five, and maybe we'll get the Doom Scar now, and then we can just go land or creature creature right back into it. Dang it! Now they can Doom Scar back to back if they have them. It is what it is. What it is. They okay? They foretell another card. Probably have a counter spell here. If they had Doom Scar. They would have Doom Scarred. Let's get one of these on the board because of the fact that we have two in our hand. Saw it coming. Not bad. Okay. So let's go ahead and just put the plus one, plus one counter on the Luminarch Aspirin itself now. Nice and spread out. And we end the turn. Is that the Doom Scar we've been waiting for? I need another white land so I can double drop things if we get Doom Scarred. If that's uh, Alan's Epiphany. Oh, Starheim Unleashed. Okay. Then we just go ahead and throw this out. 
We just blood chief thirst one of those and then we no matter how they block we win the game right here so got it z t o we go first we got three lands a pathway black white a swamp overgrown farmland cleric luminarch veteran and two redanes so we have all of our colors we have turn ones and twos let's go ahead and keep this this goes on white this goes on white and we throw the veteran first might as well that way we have a creature on board doing damage we'll throw the cleric next turn the cleric class the whole dex clerics there's their cleric class oh hey look at there look at there well it can't come out this turn because overgrown it needs to come out next turn we'll go ahead and swing in for one i don't know what prosperous is going to be doing for a minute because i think i might go redane opponent those a faceless haven revitalize okay draw and gain life let's throw the farmland out um i don't think there's a reason to go prosperous into prosperous i think redain is better because they're a snow deck their next land's coming into play tapped now we gain life we swing for one if i hit a land off the top i'm throwing this on the other side And then we can either power this up and go with some of these. Future, Yeah, we've got some plays. Ooh, it came into play tapped anyways. Oh, no. Um, what would that be? Are they, They're not playing a board wipe deck, right? We haven't seen what they're doing yet. So that makes me nervous. I'm not going to lie. We have a backup Redane. We have, I, I'm going with the Righteous Valkyrie. I really hope I didn't just feed into it. But we're going for it. These are weird cards to have in a deck that plays Doomscar. But... You just never know. We have a Skyclave Apparition coming down. Oh, their own Righteous Valkyrie. Okay. Oh, okay. So we throw... No, 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 no. No, 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 no. We tap the black. And we throw you out. Prosperous Innkeeper. We get some triggers. Then we'll go ahead and Moon Dancer. We'll auto pay. We get some triggers. And I don't know if they have single target removal. And I kind of want to have a backup one of these. Nah, we'll ship it. We'll ship it. We'll ship it. I don't know what I want, so... I don't hate that. Let's leave that there. Let's go ahead and be done there. Dun, 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 dun. Let's go ahead and swing in with everything. They can block the 3-3. Three, three. That's fine. I just wanted to see... That, like, that way, if they're like going to chump block for some reason... Not going to be happening... Or, I mean, it'll happen, but we'll get in three damage. Okay, they do chump block, which does make me nervous. Revitalize is the play. I don't know what they're doing here. I don't know if they should have chump blocked that turn. Or they could have at least blocked this. And they would have only taken one more damage for the turn, but left their creature alive. Professor of Symbology. So this is just... This is just over. So let's go ahead and just throw out the Torbrax. Get all these triggers. Uh, I'll keep a Luminarch Aspirant. Sure. 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 <laughs> let's get in and just win. They blocked the 10. Oh, do they survive? I think they, they just survived. I love it! I love it! Let's go ahead and just refill our hand. There's a land. And another land. Let's go ahead and throw out you. Um, let's throw out Prosperous Innkeeper. Into a Redain. Auto pay. Wow! That was an insane Doomscar. Do they have another one in their hand? 
If not, the Redane's getting in unless they have removal. Book of Exalted Deeds. Revitalize. They get themselves a token. And they gained life. The token doesn't bother me. So let's see. We throw out the farmland. We blood chief thirst. The token. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. Firing that up. One, two, three. They're going to win like that right now. They, if they have another, they have to have one more white in their hand, right? Wait, one, two, and itself fires it up. Plus one, two, three. No, they have it. I mean, they've got it. So we'll just, we'll throw that. I don't, I was trying to see if I could find a way to win, right? Oh, man. It's, it's, it's not monocolored anyway, so that wouldn't have mattered. Let's throw out the aspirant. Gain some life. Ship that to the bottom. Let's put a counter on the Prosperous Innkeeper. Attack for four. And the turn. And now they just make it to where we can't win anymore. If they know what they're doing. And... There is literally no way we can win the game anymore. So, good game opponent. How fun. Fully semi-auto. We go first. We have three lands, or no, two lands plus the... I thought that was a land. We have two lands. Luminarch, Cleric, Vanishing Verse, Righteous, and a Valentine. We can put this on turn one, and but we can't... Ugh. Interesting. We don't have any black... I'm going to keep it. I like a good non-mulligan. Let's lead off with the farmland. We have good cards. We just need to hit a black source. Goblin Javelin here for the opponent. So let's throw this out on white because we already have green here. Let's get out this veteran. Let's go ahead and pass it back. We hit black. We're in this ball game. Battlecry Goblins. Just going to go ahead and let the Javelin here in. There's the black mana. So next turn, I don't think they're getting too crazy. Plus, I think the Righteous Valkyrie just kind of shuts down their game plan. So let's go no attacks end. Okay, so they have a way to kill the Valkyrie. So we're going to just let them in. Otherwise, they were going to pump this and then shoot this or something like that. We can't have that. Hobgoblin Bandit Lord is the play. Another Righteous Valkyrie for us. Let's just go ahead and let them keep swinging in if they want to. Cancel. No attacks. I'm back to 21. We're not looking too horrible. Battle Kai Goblin again. They'll power that up and swing. So we will go ahead and block that there, and that there. Two blocks. Here comes a Frostbite. Royal Eruption. Royal Eruption. Okay. Um, There's more uh, white. We have a lot of white out there. I think we can put this on black. Let's throw out the Cleric of Life's Bond. And then let's go ahead and no attacks and the turn holding up the vanishing verse. Here comes Faceless Haven into the mix. Let's see. Okay, so they attack with everything. They get there. Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and vanishing verse. The Hobgoblin Bandit Lord. Let's go ahead and block a Battlecry Goblin. Another Battlecry Goblin. Let's take the rest of the damage. Down to 13. Put this out on green. 
it's a druid not a cleric but it is nice and big let's put out the redane let's put the redane out on the creature side gain some life um and uh i'll start attacking with that soon next turn we'll put out this let's go ahead and no attacks one more turn and the turn hobgoblin captain okay goblin javelin here here they come so we'll block one of the javelineers if that last card okay yeah they just <laughs> banana me <laughs> banani there we go i got it I nailed it we go first we have two lands um that could be green and that could be white We'll be missing black, but that gets us a turn one here, turn two here. So let's keep it. We'll lead with this on white. Go with the veteran. This into green, which gets us into the moon dancer. It's just for a sentinel for the opponent. Oh, there's some black. Nice, nice. Let's go ahead and keep with our plan. Next turn, we have a righteous Valkyrie coming out. Let's go ahead and I need more land. As much as I want that, we don't have the land to do it. So let's go ahead and just ship it, and no attacks. Our opponent's not presenting snow, so that's nice. Are they mono green then? No, they're gruel. Prosperous innkeeper. Tap the innkeeper in the mana for something. No, okay. So we're pretty safe to put this out on black. Go Righteous Valkyrie. Get some triggers here. Um, I have four land now, so now we can just pass on that. And let's go ahead and attack for four. So next turn we can Redain and Blood Chief Thirst. Unless we have to Blood Chief Thirst to four drop, then we can only Blood Chief Thirst. And we'll need to put that out on black to do that. Here comes a Werewolf. Here comes a Planeswalker. Are you going to remove my, my Vetch? Goldspan Dragon. Okay. Come on in. No blocks. Ranger class it is. We get another land. Let's throw this out on black. What's the play here? Do I blood sheep thirst this gold span? Do I care about that, or do I just keep gaining life and swinging at the opponent? They're going to have a really big one soon, because they have a 5-5. Five, five. No, they can't attack. Let's throw the Redane. I'm going to throw the Redane. We get the trigger there. I don't want another Prosperous Innkeeper. Let's ditch that. Let's go ahead and swing in with these two. They'll block the 2-2 two -two with the 5-5 five, uh, five -five with the 2-2. Two -two. End their turn. If they power up the Ranger class and swing with the gold span, then most likely we'll end up Blood Chief Thirsting that next turn. I mean, we don't have anything else going on at the moment. They're one land away from... Okay, so they do power up. They're going to have four mana still because they're going to swing with the gold span. Maybe. Maybe they don't. We'll see. Okay, no, they're going to swing. That resolves. No blocks. Down to 14. They probably have snakeskin veil. Another gold span, huh? Well, well, well. Let's go ahead and throw this out on... We have double black. Take another white. View brown. Let's put this out on black. Let's have all the black. Prosperous Innkeeper. Get a few triggers. Uh, another Redane. Let's skip that. Let's go ahead and Blood Chief Thirst. The other dragon. Let's see if they happen to have a Snakeskin Veil in their hand. No, they do not. That goes through instantly. Five. They'll hit us for five, six, seven, eight. Let's get in. Down to six for the opponent. I don't think they can swing with the gold span right now. 
Despera, well they can because they have all these little blockers in the air. Or little these little little blockers here. They're going off. They're going off. They can't kill the the moon dancer unless they block with the gold span plus something else. So I could take out the gold span if they try to take out the moon dancer. What is the last card in your hand? Just don't top deck land deck. Don't do it to us. Just don't give us land. Are they gonna power that? They can't. They have two, three. Oh no, they have a sentinel. So they could power this up. No, we got it. We've got it. Go away, Gruul. <laughs> okay, Brew Crew, that is going to do it for Abzan Clerics, and the deck can definitely hold its own. Um, I definitely think it's Tier 1.5 at best, not Tier 1. Maybe it's Tier 2, but I mean, it has proven itself, at least in Best of 3, to be able to get into Mythic, and it is a blast to play. If you have the cards, I highly suggest you give it a try. Um, a few things. Uh, one Cleric class just wasn't doing it for me. Um, I'm dropping that, and the Valentines just never really, really did it for me. They just weren't doing what I wanted, unfortunately, so I'm going to drop those two, and the reason that is, is I feel like we need more removal in the deck. There's just so many creatures out there nowadays that can be super problematic that you may, you may need to be able to, like, take out and or other cards with Vanishing Verse. So we're going to add two more Vanishing Verses and one more Blood Chief Thirst to the deck. In my opinion, that is going to be a much better shell. We are pretty two-drop heavy, but we already were, so we're going to stay that way. Um, let's go ahead and talk about crafting. So Vanishing Verse to me is a super strong card. I definitely think it's a safe craft. We have uh, Redain is an amazing card. I think that's safe for you all to craft. Luminarch Aspirant is a completely safe card to craft. We have, uh, let's see, Tobrax, Hope's Demise. I wouldn't go crafting this unless you just have tons of wild cards. If you already own them, cool. If you don't already own them, maybe throw in another Aura if you have them. Or find something else to do with the de in the deck. But I don't know if that's something you want to be crafting. It doesn't see a whole lot of play anywhere. I think Righteous Valkyrie is an amazing card. It goes in a lot of different shells. It's fun to play. I think craft away on that one. Um, Aura, it's a very specific card. I don't think it's unsafe to craft if you like to play these kind of decks. But you might not want to waste your wild cards if you don't have a whole lot of them. So be careful on that one. That's up to you, in my opinion. And lands are always safe. So Hive, Pathways, and the Farmland. Go ahead and craft away, in my opinion. So I really hope you enjoyed the deck. As always, leave us a comment down below letting us know what you thought of this deck or anything else you'd like to see in the future. I really hope you're enjoying the fun content that we're putting out. I hope you enjoy the decks that we're showing you. If you do, would you do us a favor? and Please hit that subscribe button. It's super fast, super easy, and it really helps support me, the channel, get us out to a much, much bigger audience. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you know whenever we have new content come out. And as always, until next time, have a blast in the arena.